before we get started. I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Hey, come on in. I've been looking forward to working on the project together. Feel free to put your stuff down over there and just make yourself at home. My place isn't the biggest, but it works for what I need. What do I need? Well, let's hope you don't have to find out. Trust me, you don't want to know. You brought a lot of books over, didn't you? Hmm. I know I said we'd be working on the project, but we're only getting started. We can just do the brainstorming today and then start the research another time. <laughs> it, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I appreciate a studious and prepared partner. Especially if they're actually putting in the work for once. You should have seen the last person who I'd paired with. We met at a library and they didn't even look at me more than three times the whole four hours and were on their phone the entire rest of the time. I, I got it done on my own and signed off on it without them. And they ended up getting a passing grade anyway. Yeah, this girl must have had something against me. I'm not sure why we were even partnered in the first place. All I remember is seeing her glare at me in disgust and slide a little sticky note across the table we shared that read, I'm not feeling well. You got this. I damn well know she was completely fine. If anything was up, it was her attitude. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. And about gossip that doesn't even concern you. I tend to do that when I'm comfortable around people. Have you had any weird or standoffish partners? I'm surprised. You'd think that you'd garner more attraction from the crazy types. Oh, what gives me that impression? Well, j just a hunch, I suppose. Well, you're not completely wrong about that. It wasn't any coincidence that we partnered together for the project. Mm-hmm. I've known you for quite a while. You caught my eye around a year ago, and I've just been keeping my eye on you, waiting for the chance to talk to you. I'm not the most confident, but I had promised myself that we'd talk someday, and look at us now. You want to know a little secret? I'm the crazy type. Oh, don't believe me? Sometimes... I feel like you already know this, but you probably don't, which is better in some ways. But sometimes, when you're fast asleep, late at night, head off in the clouds, where you can't be disturbed, I come into your room, generally through the window, or the back door when it's unlocked, and I creep over to your bed to lay right next to you. I make sure you're warm on those viciously cold nights and that you don't overheat during the summer. Sometimes, I end up laying under your bed the whole night, especially those nights that I can't sleep but also can't bear the risk of waking you up. I, I can't imagine being worlds apart from you, so this is just my little way of getting closer to you. I hope you don't mind it. Really, it's a lot tamer than some of the other things I could be doing. <laughs> if you want to think I'm joking, then by all means. So I've been told. I wouldn't really consider myself an actor, but I suppose if you didn't believe me, then it would seem that I do quite decently at playing the crazy part. Anyway, the project. Let's get this mapped out. 
I was thinking that we could base the project over the nature of interrelationships and how that affects each individual of a specific background or category. And we can break this off in a few different ways, but I was thinking, hey, are you all right? You just, you seem a little out of it. We don't have to get into this right now if you don't want to. That's completely fine. You just don't seem all here. It almost looks like you're off in another world. Thinking about what I said earlier, don't let it get to your head. Hmm? Well, then maybe you should start locking your windows and doors. Maybe you'll feel safer. Oh? You already locked them. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's weird how someone could get into your house despite the windows and doors being locked. Right. You you never said there was anyone coming into your house. Oh, that that's a random statement. Yeah. We did talk about a year ago. We met at a library and I helped you find that book you were looking for. I thought you'd forgotten about that, though. It was the day you lost your key. So what are you trying to say? Do you actually believe what I was saying earlier? After putting two and two together, I'm surprised you didn't notice when I initially swiped the key from you. How clumsy of you to have left it out in the open on the reading desks. I thought I'd take it from you as my chance to talk with you again. To strike up a conversation about having lost your key. But it turned out you didn't make a big deal out of it. So it would be a bit weird if I had come up to you confessing I had found it when you hadn't even told anyone you'd lost it. I didn't quite mind that actually. It allowed me to delve deeper into that interesting little life of yours. I followed you around, of course, very discreetly, and you hardly even noticed me. And when I finally found out where you lived, I had considered giving your key back. You know, from the little angel on my shoulder telling me it was the right thing to do. But I'm not so into listening to what's morally best. I pride myself on living in the moment, in my own feelings and desires. I'm sure you'd understand. You're like a breath of crisp air, and I had been suffocating for most of my life. I needed you. I needed to be around you. And then started the break-ins. Although, I like to call them visits, since I never really broke anything. No, I wasn't lying before. I really haven't done anything inappropriate. You can believe it. While I'm not entirely a, a man of principle, I do have my core values, and that is not intruding on one's barriers. And, well, having your key, it was obvious that you didn't care who entered your home. If you did, you would have worried a bit more about who had your key or where it had gone. But here I am, the product and the consequences of such an apt mistake. But you have nothing to worry about. I'll make sure that no one else can do the same thing. I'll keep you safe, like a, a night watch or, or a guard. But since you know all of this now, you should expect to see me more often. Perhaps I'll pay a visit one night when you're still awake. Anyway, are you ready to work on the project now? <laughs>